My name is Thaxton Waters, and I'm an artist and a curator, and I'm responding to Radcliffe Bailey's Western Currents. My initial response when I saw Radcliffe Bailey's uh, Western Currents was the, the, the middle passage reference. He has the figurines, the ceremonial figurines, claustrophobically smashed together inside of the boat. And I think that gives a reference to us being below the decks of these cargo ships and sometimes 300 at a time being brought to the West. As you look at the ceremonial, objects or figurines in the boat, you're seeing the different representations of the, the nationalities and tribes of where they come from. You're seeing representatives of the Ashanti, the Khan, the Igbo, the Yoruba. And how did this amalgamation of all of these different tribes translate into the new Western Hemisphere? This uh, amalgamation translated into hip-hop. It turned into the spirituals coming out of the South. It turned into Southern cuisine. It turned into the Fish Jubilee Singers. It turned into all of these uh, Congo Square in New Orleans. It turned into all of these expressions of this melting pot of all of these different cultures coming together in the new Western Front. But when you look at the waters below, you start to see the same ceremonial figures that was inside of the boat floating inside of the water. Why were they in the water? They was in there, could have been in there for many uh, varied reasons, but some of them could have been that they died below the deck of the boat due to the unbearable conditions, and then they were tossed aboard. It could have been because the captain was behind on schedule and he needed to lighten his load, so he tossed a few asunder. Or it could have been that when some came above the deck, that they took agency over their own lives and jumped instead of being bondage in the new world. The turbulent and choppy nature of the water, it gives you a sense of what was being felt for this three to four month voyage from the west to the east. But you also see this reflection in the sky and the figurines being placed throughout the boat. You see some looking towards the west. You see some looking downward. You see in some looking towards the sky. You see some looking backward towards home. But the ones looking towards the sky, you see them looking towards the sky wanting to get answers for why they're in the situation that they were in. The same connection to the ceremonial objects. But you see very small gleams of hope coming through those clouds. But that hope translated into the African Americans you see here today 400 years later. I think we want to focus again on the palette that was chosen for the painting. It's very deep hues of blue. And with that deep hue, it provides for me a very meditative and empathetic response. It places the viewer at large in a meditative space to think about what happened to those places, what happened to those figures, what happened to them uh, 400 years later, and how are they faring today?